Hey everybody, Jake here, and we're going to open up a full booster box of Sword and Shield today. The prices have settled, the value of the cards are stable, so let's see if we can make the value back for a full booster box of Sword and Shield. A booster box of Sword and Shield currently costs me uh, $90 to get, so that's going to be the number that we're going to try to tap to, $90, so let's get started. The most expensive card in the Sword and Shield base set is of course Zacian V, the secret rare version of Zacian V. It's still going for like 40 to 50 bucks, so it's a pretty darn expensive card. If you get even one copy of that card inside of your pack, then you're going to easily make back the money on your booster box. We got Kingler, Hyper Potion, Gloss Feeler, Goldeen, the Koi Fish, the Diglett, the Scroopy, the Owl. Chin Chow Holographic Reverse and Snorlax as our rare. There's also quite a few full art trainers in the Sword and Shield base set. We got Marnie and we got Professor's Research as well as the Zama Zenta V card. So plenty of cards that are worth $20 or more. Any one of those could make our money back. Even like the Holographic Reverse and whatnot could be pretty decent value as well. Lauren Lainoon, Energy Switch by Sharp, Globo Plus, Wulu is always cool but not worth anything. We got Pin Kirchin, Blip Bug, Energy Search, Holographic Reverse, and Noctowl as our rare. Oh boy, this is some exciting stuff. I have not opened up a full booster box of Sword and Shield in a little while, so I'm enjoying it. We got a couple more booster boxes lying around. Maybe I'll open up the rest of them. As well, we got Galarian Stunt Fist, which is actually pretty cool. Nurse Joy, Sea King, Chin Chow, Krabby, Mincino, Galarian Ponyta, Cottony, Inteleon as our holographic reverse. That's pretty darn neat. And in the back, we got Masharna as our rare. Three packs in, and it looks to be an absolute dumpster fire. So this is not looking good, guys. This is not looking good at all. I do enjoy opening up packs for you guys, but let's be honest, we're gonna need some really hot pulls coming up pretty soon, or else we're in serious trouble. Snom, an actual favorite of everyone. Galarian Linoon, Holographic Reverse, and Glow Block. The Weird Octopus, the Weird Calamari as our rare. Let's keep on going. I'm gonna need some amazing pull. There was some serious last pack magic in my last booster box of Sword and Shield, so I'd love for a repeat. Pokegear 3.0, pretty decent card. Aurora Energy, Feral Thorn, Ghastly, Rookie D. All these cards are worth a little bit of something, so I'll add them up in the end. But what we're really looking for is, boom, there we go. First solid decent pull, Professor's Research Holographic Rare. This card you need four of in pretty much every deck. And it is a holographic rare card, so that makes it very, very much in demand. So, Professor's Research is going to be an expensive card for a, quite a while, I think. Next up, we do one, two, three to the front, toss the energy. We're going to need to flick this one for good luck, because we're going to need some luck right now. Team Yelgrunt, Drizzile, Hoot Hoot, Pincurchin, Bullpix, Nikit, Baltoy. Potion, Holographic Reverse, and in the back, ooh, Roser Raid as our rare. I have not seen that one yet. Pretty darn neat card. And on to our very next pack. So Google just did a recent poll of the most popular Pokemons in the game. And surprisingly, there were some winners that I did not expect. Like uh, Charizard was not even in, in the top three. Charizard was actually the fourth favorite Pokemon, and also um, Pikachu was not even in the top 10 list, so that was pretty unique as well. Lumberry, Corvuscar, Garvantula, Silicobra, Blipbug, Goldeen, Yamper the Dog, Scroopy, Roselia, Holographic Reverse, a decent V card. That's what we're talking about. What do we have here? Torkoal V, I'll take it. Pretty nice card. I think I already have one Torkoal V, but I will take a second copy any day of the week. So what was the most popular Pokemon as voted by people? Greninja, 
Greninja got 140,000 votes as the most popular Pokemon. Some other ones that were on the list that I think were really cool was Mimikyu. I think Mimikyu was second or third with over 100,000 votes. So pretty darn cool. Glad on Mimikyu. We got Basharp, Pokemon Catcher, Haunter, Blipbug, Baltoy, Lulu, Joltik, Flandit, Aurora Energy, Holographic Reverse, and Thievul as our rare. I do not feel so good, Mr. Stark. Man, these packs are killing us right now, and it doesn't seem like this terrible train is coming to an end anytime soon. The odds of getting a V or a holographic rare or better in Pokemon Sword and Shield is about one in every three pack. Rare candy, that's a pretty decent card. Diglett, Ferro Seed, Goldeen, Roselia, Joltik, Pikachu, Holographic Reverse, always loves a Pikachu, and Scorch as our rare. So in a booster box of um, a booster box of 36 packs, we can expect to get uh, about 12 holographic rares or better, which is pretty decent, but I'm gonna need uh, some pretty darn amazing pulls to do this one off. We got Drizzile, Evolution Incense, Slazzle, Ball Toy, Slandit, Glorian Ponyta, Mincino, Sobble, Joltik Holographic Reverse, and boom, Balton Holographic Rare. I think this is the third Balton Holographic Rare I've done. So not appreciating the dupes. I would prefer some nice new cards for my set. I have pretty much every of the um, commons and uncommons and most of the rares. So what we're really looking forward is the wow cards. Let's give this stack a little helping hand. We got Mudbray, Ponyard. So we're really just looking for the V cards, the full art cards and the V max card. Cor Copper or Chia, Holographic Reverse. And in the back, we got Drampa as our rare. This is some serious messed up stuff, guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs with nothing good in them. So luck is not with us right now. I'm gonna want at least like six more V cards. So let's see if we can start reversing our luck because I think what goes around comes around. One, two, three to the front. Let's toss that energy. And we got Corvus Squire, Dwacky, Pokemon Catcher, Gospler, Silicobra, Yamper, all these names are starting to mesh together. We got Crow Gunk as our holographic reverse. A little peek on the back, a pretty decent one. A psychic Pokemon, I believe that's Wobbuffet V. And it is Wobbuffet V. That's a Pokemon that I do not have yet in my collection. So that's what we're talking about. A nice little Wobbuffet V to add up the value onto our next pack. Pokemon Sword and Shield. What a blast. I was kind of worried that Pokemon Sword and Shield would be kind of boring, but it turns out not to be the case. Pretty darn fun set so far. I'm enjoying myself and I hope you guys as well are doing the same. Glorian Minute, Energy Switch, Shelter, Mawile, Glorian Ponyta, Sobble, Maractus, Heat More, Holographic Reverse, and in the back, ooh, Sableye V. Surprisingly, Sableye is a lot of people's favorite card. So glad to see that one right there. I do not have a Sableye V yet, so another one for the collection. We got a nice little binder growing for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Let's keep it going. Crushing Hammer, Switch, Ferrothorn, Bubble Puss, Goldeen, Rosalia, Ghastly, Ponyard, Big Charm, Holographic Reverse, and Claydol as our rare. Can I go through a pack even faster? I think I can. So let's see if we can do it. Toss that code. Oh my goodness, did I show it? There's the code. We do one, two, three to the front list. Toss the energy. And we got Dotler, Corvus Squire, Great Ball, Roselia, Feral Seed, uh, Krabby, Glaring Zigzag Goon, Glossfuller, Dugtrio, Holographic Reverse. Oh my goodness, that's a really funny artwork. 
and ooh, Ryla Boom as our rare. I don't think I have a Ryla Boom yet. So there's an interesting rare that we were missing from our collection. Next pack. No full art or secret rare yet. What has been happening? I want some cool stuff, please. One, two, three to the front. Let's toss that energy. We got a decent rare candy, Lucky Egg, Mantine, Mana, Roselia, Choodle, the one that's not Squirtle, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, ooh, Galarian Rapidash, Holographic Reverse Rare, decent card, and Kapuraja Holographic Rare. Oh, guys, guys, I don't feel so good. This booster box is just not bringing in the value that I was hoping for. We're gonna need some lucky cards in here to really nail it out of the park. Metal Saucer, Quick Ball, ooh, our first Quick Ball. Mantine, Solicipede, Lulu, Grookey, Sobble, uh, Sentus Scorch, Holographic Reverse, and ooh, Dreadnought, the one that's not Blast Toys as our rare. Next pack, how do we reverse our luck? If you guys have any special charm for uh, uh, getting rid of bad luck, I'd love to hear it. Just love to know what you guys use. Let's put that pack right there because we're gonna need to stack it up if we want to increase our chances of getting something really darn amazing inside of this box. No energies, but everything else stays. How many packs should we do? Let's do two more. I think that's a pretty solid stack. You guys know what I'm currently missing right now. I'm missing some solid hidden fates. Hidden fates would be really cool right now. Why? Because hidden fates always has good pulls and that's what I want to see. I want to see some amazing pulls and hidden, fa uh, hidden fates would be just the delivery for that. I've opened easily over 300 packs of hidden fates and we still do not have the shiny Charizard GX yet. That's a solid $200 card if we were to pull it. So maybe we'll pull it next time when we do some Hidden Fates again. Alrighty then. And we got ourselves, ooh, right into a rare Nine Tails. Decent pull. Cro, Cro Gunk, is this a holographic reverse? No, it's not a holographic reverse. It's just got a really weird kind of like smudgy pattern to it. Silicobra, Mencino. Uh, Citrus Berry, Roserade, Energy Retriever, Pharaoh Thorn, Sinisty, Ordinary Rod, Beatty, Orbidae, Hitmonlee, Shelter, ooh, ooh, Stone Journer as our full RB card. Nice, that's what we're talking about. Oh boy, that's a pretty solid looking Pokemon right there. A nice little golem. We do not have that full RV, so let's put it right back there and let's see what we can keep going. We got Salazzle, Dugtrio, uh, Pokemon Center Lady, Rhyhorn, Mincino, Chinchou, Krogunk, Ponyard, Holographic Reverse, Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny. I'm currently just looking for my rare Shelter and into a second Holographic Reverse. Asharna as our rare. We got Hitmonchan, Glorian by Noon, Sea King, Pikachu, Glorian Meow, Maractus, Heatmore, and Score Bunny. So only the Stone Journey V full art was the good card inside of that stack. But we got to be able to do a lot better than that. Still a decent stack of booster packs to go through. And one or two cards could totally bring it around. We got Hop, Dottler, Potion, Mawile, Glossular, Goldeen, Diglett, Scroopy, Cinderace, Holographic Reverse, and oh yes! Yes, that's what I'm talking about everyone! Oh my goodness, that is some beautiful card right there. Is it the Zacian or is it the Zamazenta? I don't know. Oh my goodness, we actually pulled it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Zacian V, Secret wow. Rare, we did it! Oh my god! That is so cool! 
Oh, it's been so long since I pulled the most expensive card in a set. Whoa, that thing is beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, all of those terrible packs were totally worth it. Ah, what a beautiful card. I am gushing over this thing. Let's check out the back for just a second. Oh, what a beautiful background. Perfectly centered. Not a single problem with this card at all. It is as mint as can be. When this card came out, people were buying it for $80 or $90. Wow, I'm blown away. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we actually did it. Zacian B Secret Rare. Wow. Oh man. What a beautiful card. Ah, oh, I, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. This booster box is done, guys. We don't need anything else. Like, honestly, that's it. We're good, we're good, all right. I'm, I'm good now. We don't, I don't, I don't even care what the rest of the cards in this booster box is. That one card did it for us. Yamper, Holographic Reverse, Center Scorch, Rare, whatever. What a roller coaster of emotion. I can't believe we actually got the lottery card of the set, the chase card. Zacian V, my goodness. I was feeling pretty bummed. I was like, man, this booster box is like a real bummer, but boy, talk about a complete reversal. Who would have expected that one? Inteleon as our rare. I'm feeling a little bit less like analytical on these last couple booster packs because who cares? We got secret rare, hyper rare, Zacian V. What else do we need? That is the card that I've been chasing for this whole entire set. And we did it easily within the pack limit that I was setting myself for this set. So that's really nice. I haven't pulled a card that good in quite a while. Man, amazing stuff. Cramorant V, a uh, nice little uh, icing on the cake. That's our like third or fourth Cramorant V. Keeps coming to me. I know some people that have not been able to pull the Cramorant V, even though they pull just about every other <laughs> hyper rare card. So that's pretty funny to me that I keep getting Cramorant. I really like Cramorant. He is such a, or she is such a, it's just a great Pokemon in general, but boy, Cramorant V. Super goofy Pokemon, really funny Pokemon. I really like Cramorant V. Oh, the regular Stone Journer. Wow, did not expect to see that one. Nice rare Pokemon with no evolution. On to the next pack. What do I want now? So we, I made a list of the top 10 pulls that I want to get from uh, Sword and Shield and we're starting to check quite a few of them off the list but there's still a couple more. I still want the full art or a secret rare Marnie card. That one would be really cool. We could probably still pull one more secret rare inside of our pack. And of course, there's also the Zamazenta V card that I have yet to see. So that would be another really nice pull to see in our set. We got Silicobra, Holographic Reverse, and I see a nice shiny full art border, a fighting Pokemon. Is this a uh, full art Regirock V is gonna be my guess. Oh, what? Oh no, it is not, but we'll take it. Stone Journer V Max, nice. Man, I, I think this is our first V Max pull. 330 HP. Talk about an absolute beast of a Pokemon. If you kill Stone Journer V or defeat it in battle, you get three prize card. Man, check that out. That's a really nice Pokemon. Really dig it. This booster box has absolutely blown me away. I feel like every time I open up a booster box, I, I never expect to do well in them because the odds of doing well in a booster box, I think are actually kind of low, but boy, what a blast. What an absolute blast of a booster box. I couldn't ask for more. This booster box totally did it. Pincursion, Holographic Reverse, and Inteleon, Holographic Rare, there's another Pokemon that I have not pulled yet. So let's put that one right in the back. This background is looking really darn dope. And we still have like a decent eight more packs to go. This is like the dream booster box right now. 
if you could get a booster box, this is like what you want to see. We already got like eight V cards or something ridiculous. Quillfish, Energy Switch, Dottler, Mana, Snom, Grookey, Shelter, Mawile, Aurora, Energy, and oh, yes, yes. Oh boy, is that a secret rare trainer card? Oh my goodness, I, I, I kind of want to see what it is. Number 207 of 202, what is that? BD, oh my good, a second BD? I'm not gonna complain, come on. I love BD. But I was really hoping for the Professor Research or Marnie secret rare because let's be honest, haven't gotten either of those. Would really like to see them inside of my packs. Since we've already gotten two secret rares, we're probably not gonna get a third. Two is pretty much the max you're gonna see inside of a booster box. Like your odds of getting even one in a booster box aren't perfect. So there's a P. Rotom bike as our holographic reverse. And in the back, we get Torkoal B full art. What is happening now? Total reversal. Our luck just got insane. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight V cards. What is happening? And we still have more packs to go. Ah, this booster box. I love it. So good. One, two, three to the front. Let's toss the energy. We got uh, Thwacky, Palpad, Citrus, Berry, Cufant, Ball Toy, Chin Chow, Solicipede, Lauren Zigzagoon, Orangor Guru, Holographic Reverse. That's a really nice card too. Decent value in that one. And Wimsa Scott as our rare. Let's put the Oranguru right there in the back and move on to our next pack. I'm gonna have to show this off. There's gonna be so many people on the Pokemon subreddit, subreddit who just, they're gonna be blown away by this. I don't, they're gonna be like, you're lying. You did not get this many cards inside of your booster box. This is like a dream booster box right now. Roselia, Choodle, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Bobopus, Solicipede, Holographic Reverse, and grab lock as our rare. Four more booster packs to go. How much more can we get from these packs? Any more is just gonna be icing. I think we've like pretty much gone the max value out of a booster box that we can get, but let's just keep on going and drive right through these last couple of packs. We got Mantine, Holographic Reverse, and Lantern as our rare onto the next pack. I guess we're still missing the Zacian V full art card as well. So that would be the next card that I want to see pulled. I'm just going to tear right through these packs. One, two, three to the front. Let's toss that energy. Pokemon Catcher, Drizzile, Evolution Incense, Crow Gunk, Silicobra, Mincino, Vulpix, Mana, Ferrothorn, Holographic Reverse. Ooh, Frost Moth, Holographic Rare. Frost Moth is a really powerful card as well. Glad to see it. I don't think we have that one yet. Uh, there's a super beautiful looking Frost Moth in the upcoming uh, set. The next expansion for Sword and Shield is going to have a pretty darn beautiful Frost Moth. So I'd love to pull that card. We got a Rotom Bike, Drizzile, Bisharp, Ball Toy, Chin Chow, Solicipede, Lauren Zigzagoon Mana, Glorian Zigzagoon Holographic Reverse, and Keldeo V. This booster box is the dream one. Honestly, best booster box I've done in literally months, maybe even a year. Like, wow, talking about amazing box. One, two, three to the front, toss the energy. And for our last pack, we got Citrus Berry, Corvus Squire, Thwacky, Score Bunny, Pikachu, Sinus T, Lulu, uh, Vitality Band, Holographic Reverse, and ooh, Ryla Broom, Holographic Rare as our final card. Man, check out that beautiful background. I think this might be one of the best booster boxes I've ever done in my life. Glad to have the whole thing on camera. As well, we also have a nice stack of bulk cards. These include all the Holographic Reverses and item cards that we pulled from this set. 
Um, I'm, so I'm gonna add about $15 worth of value for this stack at the end of our video. So how close did we get to making our monies back? I have not done the math yet, but I think we probably broke $90 worth of value. So this booster box, amazing, totally worth it. Ah, beautiful. So let's get these cards sleeved up. All right, everybody, that's the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. It's been one hell of a booster box. I really, really enjoy doing that. I hope we got our full value back from our booster box because if we didn't, then I don't think we'll ever make our full value back. But I'm gonna sleeve up this Zossie NV because seeing it unsleeve is probably gonna give me a little heart attack. We're gonna be real gentle with this one because it's a really nice quality card and I would love to get it graded. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.